Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Connect. Today we're gonna to be talking about self-advocacy. My name is Martez Nelson, and I'm a trauma-informed specialist with the Metro Nashville Public School District. And I cover the Overton High School and Cane Ridge High School clusters. So what exactly is self-advocacy? Self-advocacy is a skill that enables kids to understand their strengths and their weaknesses, to know what they need to succeed, and to communicate that need with other people. It's an essential skill to practice as a kid because you'll need to self-advocate throughout the remainder of your life. And as I mentioned, the key elements of self-advocacy is understanding what your specific needs are, which is also known as self-awareness. You also want to know what help or support you actually need that will address whatever it is that you're needing help with. And then lastly, communicating that need to your teachers, to your healthcare providers, to a mentor, or anyone else that can be a part of you reaching the success that you're trying to reach or accomplishing goals that you're trying to accomplish. There are benefits of self-advocacy as well. Some of the benefits of self-advocacy include the ability to find solutions to challenges that your parent may not be aware of. As kids, you spend a great deal of time in school, with in after-school programs, and then if you are uh, engaged in any extracurricular activities like a sports team, that would also be something that your time goes to. You may not always be able at the drop of the dime to tell your parents things that you need or that are going on within an environment that they're not in, and that's where self-advocating comes into play. It also helps build your self-confidence and your ability to learn. Because when you're self-advocating and there's something you're not understanding in school or a particular play you're not understanding in a, in a game or if you cheer or dance a specific move you're not understanding, then you will have the ability to, to say, hey, I don't understand this and this is what I need to be able to understand it. It also creates a sense of ownership over your learning and it helps develop independence, and self-empowerment, which we know is so important. And you'll also be prepared to take on life challenges, as I mentioned before, because you'll need to advocate as well when you become an adult. And to help you better understand self-advocacy, I provided an actual example here. So the situation is, your teacher goes through a new lesson in math. You take notes and you're attentive throughout the lesson. However, you're still struggling to understand the material. And that's absolutely okay. But what you do is, during or after class, you let your teacher know that you paid attention and you took notes and you show her the amazing notes that you took, but you're still not able to understand and would like some additional help. So as a result of you being able to self-advocate for the help that you need in regards to this new lesson, the solution is that your teacher then sets aside extra time for you and she works with you on this new material to help you understand it and incorporate any other extra help that you may need to understand this particular lesson. That, my friends, is true self-advocacy. Thank you so much for your participation in this Connect episode. Please be sure to share your comments in the section below and make sure you follow us on Twitter at MMPS Social Work and at MMPS Trauma Team.